The capital of Tyrol, Innsbruck, is an understated alpine gem and is just 90 minutes away from Munich. You should visit this city at least once. Why you ask? I will let you decide after watching this video. How to save your hard earned money in Innsbruck? This is how. The first thing you should do is get the Innsbruck card from the train station info point. You can have 24, 48 or 72 hours card and you can visit all these locations inclusive in the ticket. Trust me, it's absolutely worth it. I'm not a fan of museums but the Swarovski Crystal Museum is supposed to be the top three things to do here in Innsbruck. So we're gonna go and check it out if it's really worth visiting it because it is quite far away from the main city. It takes about one hour by the bus. This crystal dome consists of 595 mirrors that create a special depth effect and give the viewer the feeling of being inside a crystal. You can even book this place for your weddings. This bling piece of clothing was once worn by the king of pop. Of course, there are several other artistic displays as well. So how was my experience? Do I suggest coming to this place? Well, yeah, if you have some time, then uh, you must consider coming to here because some of the exhibitions like the glass dome were super cool and I really liked it. But I wouldn't spend more than an hour or two here because uh, there are other things to do in Innsbruck as well. So, so if you have time, you can just come here, enjoy some of the displays and leave. If you come to Innsbruck for only one day, then it's gonna be really tough to explore uh, most of the locations because they're quite far away and it will take like three to four hours for each place. We can't come to Austria and not try the local beer. And also the schnitzel. A schnitzel is a thin slice of meat, usually thin by pounding with a meat tenderizer. Most commonly, the meat is breaded before frying and served with fries or potatoes. I got here a cranberry sauce and a salad to go with it. Innsbruck, the bridge over the Inn, is the capital of Austria's Tyrol region and home to one of Europe's most delightful historic old town centers. It sits in the valley surrounded by beautiful alpine peaks of the Austrian Alps on either side. Tomorrow, we head to the top of Innsbruck without breaking a sweat and the views are breathtaking. These old streets will take you back in time. This is one of the cleanest cities I have been to and is very well maintained. Shop local and you will find some handmade Austrian souvenirs to take home with. The town square's famous landmark is a roof, but not just any roof, the little golden roof. Built by the King Maximilian I some 500 years ago. Inclusive in your Innsbruck ticket is the view from the Stadttum. Although I have to warn you, you do have to climb a bit. But the view from the top is always worth it. So I'm not staying at an Airbnb or at a hotel. I'm camping tonight. I have a small tent which I was carrying around all day. And uh, I came to a camping place where I can set up my tent and uh, use all the amenities like the washroom, showers and so on. So it's a good deal. I mean, these places are kind of cheap when compared to hotels and Airbnb. So, and in summers you can sleep outdoors, which is pretty cool. So it's end of day one, I'm super tired. I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's day two and we take the bus J to Pasha Kofel to the ski lift, where we can go to the top of the mountains. So I think this is one of the lesser known cable cars because look at this, I have this whole cable car just for myself. Such a spectacular view. If you are an adventurous type, then Innsbruck is the right place for you because of its many hiking and mountain climbing trails. Next up, we go to the Nordkett Mountain, which is the top of Innsbruck. We are now going to the highest point in Innsbruck. 
to get there we have to take that bus J from the hub one off or the main station and then take a rope wave which goes to the top and then walk a bit from there to get to the top of Innsbruck I'm super excited the sky is super clear today so hopefully we get some amazing view from the top now that 24 or 48 hours ticket will save you a lot of money because just using this ropeway will cost you 45 euros if you don't have that ticket it's definitely worth it You do have to hike a bit but at this altitude everything will be tough but the weather today is just spectacular can't be better I'm so high that there are not even trees here they probably won't grow at this altitude just some grass around So we made it to the top and the view is just spectacular. Just wow. Super happy. There's so many hiking trails around Innsbruck but I think you should be at least fit and not be afraid of heights because these are kind of steep and uh, you do need some sort of skill to hike to these places. So I hope I gave some kind of insight into this beautiful city. Tonight I'm heading back to Munich but tomorrow I will be visiting the Neuschwanstein castle so if you guys want to check that video out then click here and if you want to watch more videos like this then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video.